the varanasi court now pronouncing the much awaited verdict viewers on the merits of the janwapi mosque and the shringar gauri case varanasi district court pronounced the verdict in the shringar gauri janwapi case on monday the core of this judgment is that the plea filed by the hindu women devotees to worship deities in the janwapi mosque complex is maintainable in the court so what does this mean as we know the janwapi mosque shares its walls with the kashi vishwanath temple arguably the most famous spot in varanasi the controversy is whether the janwapi mosque was built after destroying some parts of the kashi vishwanath temple earlier this year in august the local court in varanasi had reserved its verdict on a petition moved by the anjuman islamia masjid committee which questioned the maintainability of the suit filed by the five women who were from the hindu faith The suit which Hindu women have moved has claimed that the premises of the Gyan Vyapi Mosque were once a Hindu temple. Mughal ruler Aurangzeb demolished it and then built the mosque over it. The lawsuit sought year-long efforts to offer prayers at the Hindu shrine behind the western walls of the Gyan Vyapi Mosque complex. On the other hand, the Muslim side, represented by the Anjuman Masjid Committee, argued that the suit is barred explicitly by the Places of Worship Act 1991. District Judge A K Vishwasraha reserved the order in August, which he pronounced. Today on September 12, 2022. So, what is the Places of Worship Act, and why is the suit in question? The main hurdle behind the whole dispute was a law passed in 1991 that restricts and prohibits litigation that disrupts the status quo of any monument that stood before 1947. In addition, the provisions of the Act make it clear that all places of worship in the country will remain as they were on August 15, 1947, and cases seeking conversion of a place of worship to that of another religion or faith. Shall obey. The Muslim parties insist that the suit should be rejected on the basis of Clause D of the Order 7, Rule 11 of the Civil Procedure Code. So clause D states that the court can reject complaints if it is barred by any law. The Yamyapi Kashi dispute pertains to two suits: one which was filed in 1991, citing that Mughal destroyed the said temple. In that suit, the Allahabad High Court had stayed the proceedings. Another suit was filed in 2021 by women devotees and worshippers of Lord Shiva. Practicing the Vedic Sanatan Hindu Dharm before the civil senior judge Varanasi, seeking restoration of performance of rituals at the principal seat of the ancient temple within the Gyan Vyapi Mosque area. A lower court had ordered a videography survey of the complex. During the survey, the Hindu side claimed a shivling was found in the mosque's lower area. However, the Muslim side contested the claim, which was also one of the issues raised before the Supreme Court. On May 17, 2022, the Supreme Court clarified that the order passed by the District Court of Varanasi to protect the disputed spot would not restrict the right of Muslims to access the mosque. Secondly, the SC also directed Varanasi DN to ensure the protection of the disputed spot. SC also said that the Order 7 Rule 11 application for rejecting the suit as being barred by the law should be decided on priority by the district judge. Today's judgment has basically said that the suit filed by the Hindu worshipper is maintainable. Order Seven Rule Eleven CPC's plea of Anjuman Committee is not applicable. Varanasi Court has also said that the case is not barred by the Places of Worship Act or the Waqf Act. The court has put the next date of hearing at September 22 and has asked both the parties to submit their pleadings.